you know, my initial uh, thought was that Teddy pretty much played a, f a flawless game. He, he was uh, 10 for 12 the, the first half, and I think the first two were drops, or the only two misses were drops. So, um, so I thought, he, you know, in all, he played a pretty, pretty damn good game. He made some great plays with runs, but there definitely were some mistakes in the first half, and there were even more in the second half. So I'll try to show you all of his mistakes and let you be the judge of how you feel he played. Um, okay, um, this is the pass to um, McKinnon for two yards. Um, the previous play, uh, he passed to Wallace, and Wallace dropped it. So just, I mean, that... That was pretty frustrating. But here, I think he had another option. If you look, uh, I can't see the number, but right up the middle, he had a, a guy closer to a first down. The thing is, is that he, he made the decision to throw this ball to McKinnon pretty quickly. So right, uh, you can see number 17 right next to him. Uh, I'll show you from this angle. You can see right um, come across, but if you look, Teddy already turned. He's looking at um, all the way, and and Wright is right there up the middle, but he's looking all the way at McKinnon. Uh, so he, he never even thought to throw to Wright, but uh, Wright looked like he had a better chance of getting the first down in that play. So you could argue that was one of his mistakes. Okay, I got to put this in. I'll just put it in from Teddy's angle because. Because uh, this isn't a bad play. This is one of Teddy's better plays. It's a perfect pass to Rudolph. But what I love is the, this is all the type of protection Teddy needs. You give him that kind of protection, he's going to hit his guy every time. I mean, rarely does he miss when he has good protection like that. And you can see it was a perfect pass to Rudolph. Uh, so let me move on. Okay, so this is one of Teddy's uh, where he gets flushed out of the pocket and has to scramble. Um... If you look over uh, towards the bottom of the field, uh, he, he could have threw right then. He had like a split second, but really the, the pocket was collapsing on him. But if you want to say he could have got rid of the, the ball there, it wouldn't have been easy. But yeah, you can you could argue that. So I included it. So this is quite possibly the worst play of the game that uh, that's on Teddy. Uh, and it's not just on Teddy. And you know, at first I said, "Oh man, he should have got rid of the ball," but uh, instead of getting sacked, but it's actually worse than that. Um, you can see right here he has plenty of time. Uh, the problem is the receivers aren't turning around, but even nothing else, he has a he has a receiver on the top of your screen that was open. He could have dumped off to, uh, and he he wants to get outside the pocket, but just. Everything he did was wrong. So you, I mean, you can see better from this angle. Um, you, you can't see the open receiver because the, the receivers in front of him were mostly covered, but there was there was one receiver open to the side. He, um, and so now uh, he has plenty of time. There, were, there was a, he actually saw a receiver running in front of him that he could have got, and he just he tries to spin out of one guy, and then boom, ninety six just was right there in his face. Bad play, terrible play by Teddy. Okay, here's another one of those plays. All the receivers downfield are covered, but he has an easy dump off. He's got plenty of time, and Adrian Peterson is just wide open. And absolutely, he should have passed it to him. And he should have passed it to him early when, when AD had room. And maybe, probably, he would have got the first down. So, bad play. Just bad decision on Teddy. You can see it better from this angle. You can see AD in the backfield. Nobody's open downfield, so you can't blame him on that. But absolutely, Teddy should have got rid of this ball. Plenty of time. He's looking for something because it's like a first and 20 or something. So he wants to get some, some big yards back. But it, everything just, he thinks he has an opening. Uh, but AD is wide open. He could have just got him the ball and, and did some damage. It's a bad play. Okay, on this play... Uh, Ha ha uh, gets in, and some people say Teddy sh should see him. Well, he did see him. He, he tries to move away from him, but then he moves into somebody else. So it's it's not as easy a play as they say, but um, usually Teddy gets it, avoids the sack in these ones. But you, you can see better from this angle. There's um, 
not much open. And he's coming, so Teddy sees him all the way, but he's trying to make a pass, uh, and his tight end doesn't open up to the last second. And too, too late for Teddy to do anything. Uh, really, not much Teddy can do, but since somebody was complaining that Teddy should have avoided the sack, I put it up there. I don't agree, though. Okay, so this pass, Teddy underthrew to Kyle Rudolph. Uh, he has a little bit of time, but boom, he gets hit from the side as he threw. So that pretty much explains why that happened. Okay, this is Adrian Peterson run. Um, and there goes the ball. Okay, on this play, it's third and 12, and I think that caused part of the, the little bit of uh, poor decision here. Uh, Teddy has a, a guy running right across the middle. Nobody else is open, but that one guy over the middle was, but uh, it would have been very hard for him to, to get that. Um, there's two guys waiting for him right there, so it would have been hard for him to get a first down. So I think I think that everyone's seen this one. This is the, the um, overthrow to Wallace. And uh, not a whole bunch to add. Uh, I thought Teddy threw a perfect pass here. Not that it's Wallace's fault either. Um, but this is something that you have to really work on, sometimes years. And Teddy lofted so that Wallace could get under it. He really, really put some air on the ball and threw it in a pretty good place. And um, Just timing, you know, was a little bit off. Just, just a speck off. I'll show you from this angle. Plenty of time, though. Man, if the line could block like this. Plenty of time. Lots of air. Just. Didn't catch it. Didn't happen. Okay, on um, this pass, Teddy throws it to Thielen, and during the game, the announcer said he threw it behind, and and I, I thought they were wrong, but clearly, you can see from this angle. Late in the game, Teddy's just trying to make something happen, but he throws it into coverage. You know, Rudolph's not open at all, but again... This is the last series of the game, and Teddy, you know, it's it, the game's over at this point. It's 30 13, and it's like two minutes, a little more than two minutes. And Teddy's got to make something happen, and, and there's nobody open. And it was behind the second pass, he throws behind the receiver, and just at this point, Teddy's just, you know, trying to make something happen, but not playing it that well. He didn't play well. This this series is probably the worst series of the whole game. Uh, and most of that was on Teddy. Play f uh, for the offense in the game. And again, he just overthrows. The ball's not catchable. That's the main problem. He just, but he's backpedaling, trying to you know avoid pressure and, you know, Needs to throw it in, in a little yard. So another yard. So that's it. That's a, all Teddy's crap. So.